All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's probably super echoey right now, but it will not be that way forever. This video is gonna be like a multi-day series build. And uh, this space, this shop space, we're at a new location, we're at a new spot. This is gonna be our new studio slash bow room build. So uh, this is gonna be like, the ultimate bow room slash studio build to the best of our abilities without like going crazy. Um, so anyways, this is all about how we're gonna do it. We picked up this bad boy a little while ago, which will be perfect for storing all our stuff all throughout here. Um, I really like to stay organized, <laughs> that sort of stuff. Uh, and then obviously a table. And uh, these cork boards are on this wall already. Um, and I think we're actually going to keep them, but we're going to kind of move them around a little bit. And then this is this corner right here is kind of gonna be the shop corner and video corner. Um, and, kind of, and then freestanding bow press somewhere. We gotta set it up and get it figured out. And then we're going to actually put boards on the wall to make it look clean. And then we have flooring to go in here. Um, so right now, it's not much and it's super echoey, but at the end of it, might turn out pretty cool, maybe. Or it might look not so awesome. We'll see. But we just ran to Home Depot, we got a bunch of stuff. Uh, so we probably aren't gonna finish it all today, but we're gonna try. We got these cork, or I don't even know what they're called. Peg Peg, oh, pegboard is what it's called. Um, and we built these frames on it because we're hoping that we can put these on the wall, just like that one is, but you can't put the little pegs hanger things with that one up against the wall. So we built these little frames and uh, we're hoping to stay super organized with all of our archery stuff on the wall. So these are just little one buys, keeps them flat, keeps them off the wall a little bit. And uh, should we go? We're just gonna put some screws in. One step closer. This is like for department stores and stuff. You see this all the time. But archery products. Now we can hang a bunch of bunch of stuff on. That was sweet. So we got a bunch of these from Home Depot today. We can just slide right in. We'll be organized, Mitch. For once. Kind of. <laughs> so just imagine that full of archery products. That would be sick. Now we just gotta buy a bunch of archery products. Nice. So this was just an old shop. There's like um, pressure valves and everything. It was like a metal worker or something. Um, so it's just a concrete floor. This is like super cheap flooring. And we're just gonna cover it to make it uh, make it look a little better and help with the sound. And I think it'll look pretty sweet. All right, well, it's pretty much taken all day to get to the step we are between Home Depot runs and getting everything figured out. But we're putting up the boards. So on this wall, we're gonna mainly keep it cork board and we're gonna do the boards in the bottom, um, but we're gonna put the boards all the way through here a little bit. And this has actually been pretty cheap for I think two, three, 200 bucks. I think it was 200 bucks. Um, we got these little one buys, screwed it on here, just one screw right in the center, and then we're taking little finishing nails and just kind of staggering them, putting them up. But I think it's gonna look really good when it's all done and complete. We're hoping to get it done tonight might be up a little bit but I want to try to get it done measure once cut twice measure once cut a couple times <laughs> <laughs>
Not the tree. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one. I mean, we could just, 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 just a bunch of times, or at least a few times until it breaks. Until it breaks. Last night, I stayed up pretty late. Got this whole wall finished, all underneath there finished. Um, coming together. It's not very sturdy. Like, probably wouldn't wanna be hanging big stuff on it, but for a, a look, it's real nice. And that's all we're looking for is like a nice backdrop. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to finish today. We're gonna do all that little L right there. This right here, and then we're going to start putting the bow press together and getting everything else situated. Try to make a paper tuner, um, make a target stand for outside. Just make this a fully functional where we can come in here, do a bow build, and uh, everything's just right here ready to rock. Um, but yeah, it's even changing colors a little bit because this wood was wet, wet yesterday, and now it's already drying out. Yay! 49 inches and for all of the ranger ricks of the world i am no expert carpenter or builder we're just figuring it out and doing it as we go so whatever there's one We're almost done. Had to take a little break. We actually made a uh, podcast room inside while batteries charge because we ran out of batteries. But we literally have eight boards left and the wall is gonna be complete. Then we'll get the paper tuner station set up. And we're nearly there, so I'm excited. Day three of the shop build. We have the awesome Matthews glowing sign. We have a Lancaster banner. And we have the bow press all set up last night. We set the bow press up. And didn't take too long, it's pretty easy, but the last chance archery bow press, absolutely the best bow press in the entire world. And you really cannot convince me otherwise because I've used a lot of different type of bow presses. But super pumped, that's set up, this is set up. Uh, we have the last chance easy press bow jig set up which is really awesome and I didn't have at the other setup let's shut this door it's so cute. and uh, we're starting to fill the wall of archery products believe it or not I think this entire wall is gonna get filled up but we totally underestimated the amount of the hooky things that we need we need to buy like a hundred more so that's gonna be that and uh, in a little bit, should be all complete.
So we just filmed a uh, the UV3 launch video, and we didn't we didn't have this, but this scope was the OG OG OG. It had this cord that like snapped into place, and then this was OG 2.0, original gangster. And I wish we had these for the film. I totally forgot about these. And this was a lame cartridge for the UV2. This one you could probably crack in your hand. It's funny, I get all the random prototypes that end up getting lost in the rubble. Yeah, look at this battery stuck to it. Another original prototype. The battery's falling out. We've come a long way, folks. Real long ways. That's funny. Okay, everyone, putting bows up on the wall. Um, got a couple of them, and we got a couple more on the way. So, just trying to figure out a cool way to display the bows. Um, in a way where they really don't get in the way because I feel like they always get in the way, scattered, laying on tables, on the floor, whatever. So we're gonna figure that out, kinda mess around, see what works best. My end goal is to have a couple bows set up always. I feel like I'm always stealing parts from different bows every time I make a bow build. So I just want them set up so that I can pick them up for whatever I'm doing. That's the goal. Is that gonna happen? Actually, I don't know, but that's the goal. Okay, everyone, the build is, I'd say 95% done. We're still waiting on some stuff that'll get in in like a week or so, but we're gonna give you the final tour. It took probably two or three full, full days and then just here and there putting things together and organizing. But this is it. This is the shop build. This is where we're gonna be doing a lot of our bow builds, our unboxings and just messing around videos. Um, should we just go like, just go through it real quick? Like, yeah, so, so. talk about it. Okay, well, um, I guess first we kind of already talked about this, but the, the walls are 100% done. We have a Lancaster banner up, B season plate from uh, the Total Archer Challenge truck. And then the bows are all displayed. I kind of wanted to figure out just a super easy, cheap way to throw them up so they're not laying all over the place. These are just bow hooks. Drilled a hole in, screwed them in the wall and uh, just kind of displays them, make them look cool, and then just an easy way I can just grab them and they're gonna be ready to set up. Um, be real, I, a kid actually made this for me and I forget his name. Maybe if you're watching this, you comment below and give him some love. I forget what his name is, but someone sent that in. That's super awesome, I, I love that thing. Um, and then the Matthews LED glowing sign. We actually ran the cord behind the boards, plugged it in here, made it look nice and seamless. This is sick. With all the lights off and everything, I love this sign. Uh, and then eventually, why it's not 100% done yet, we wanna build an arrow storage tube system right here. So right now we just have all the arrows shoved in there. And then this is the wall of just miscellaneous archery products that will continue to grow. And I still have some that I haven't even put up, um, but it just keeps things super organized. Like I have all my shrewd weights, uh, veins, stickers, I have mods, uh, extra rests, side plates, bunch of peeps, just random stuff that even I, I, I prefer it on here so I can like see it other than like putting it in there and then you gotta like dig all through and stuff. So just easy, quick things that you can kind of get to. Um, and then I have my, uh, like my tags or whatever for tournaments, some of them up there, just cool. Their memories like 2011 Nor'easter, 2012 Nor'easter. They don't even have that shoot anymore. It's just cool to look back at those when I used to shoot good. <laughs> just kidding. Not kidding. Just kidding. Uh, this table, we might actually get another one of these tables, but we have our arrow saw, uh, our fletching jig, last chance, Bainmaster Pro, bits and burgers. 
just kind of like always ready to go. <laughs> Plugged in, ready to rip. We of course have our Ultra View boxes that it, the pile will continue to grow. As I am their number one supporter, I bought all those things. <laughs> just kidding, they sent me those for free luckily. Um, thanks Colby. Opening up first drawer, I wanted to get this giant, this, this thing was the biggest one they sold at Home Depot. So we went all out on this. I didn't want any clutter. I wanted it all clean. And this is gonna continue to be filled up. But this is just like the grab and go type stuff. Um, all these aren't even full. Sight tape drawer that I still have a lot of stuff we need to put in there. Release drawer, sight drawer. Last chance randomness. Then, oh, this is like stabilizer stuff. Haven't even filled that one up yet. This is scopes. Kind of already talked about that. Big stuff in there. This is my sticker drawer. I think these are pretty much empty. A couple random stuff. But that's going to continue to fill up. And we're a functional system here. And, oh, that thing. That mess. This is what we film unboxings on. We got it all set up, Mitch and I. Kind of rigged it out. We wanted a permanent system that we can just plug and play for unboxings. We got a lot of them coming up this year and this summer. So instead of the hassle of setting it up every single time, we just rigged it all right there. So literally all we have to do is turn on this monitor, whatever button it is right there. Turn that on. Where is it? Oh, it's on the back side. Turn that on, boom. And we are dead. No way. Let's switch that out actually. I want them to see this. And I even have an extra spare battery charging all the time. Imagine that. Switch that out. We got power running to everything except the monitor. We actually want another monitor that runs strictly off of plug-in power. And boom! There's my hand. So super easy, ready to go. That's the middle right there. And uh, just unboxings, ready to go. We got one giant light, two giant lights, and a giant microphone right here. And we got a couple tripods and stuff for cameras. And we're ready to go. Whenever we wanna do an unboxing or whatever, we got this right here, plug and play. I should actually undo this so it doesn't die on me again. Oh, and the floor. The floor's in, but we already talked about that. We're actually getting some more floor. We're gonna do some more of this. Oh, paper tuner. We forgot to do that. So, I kind of jerry-rigged a paper tuner system. I have a broken arrow that I jammed up here, and this is an old sign from like a convenience store. It uh, like rotates and stuff. But anyways, I bought this cheap paper off of Amazon. I don't even know what it's called. Kind of rigged it up and you can just pull it through whenever you need some more. Then we have our target hanging in the back. So that's ready to go always too. We have our cords. <laughs> we gotta figure something out about that. Um, but yeah, got some stickers. And I really don't have anything else to show. That's pretty much it. But hope you guys enjoyed this shop tour. There will be lots of videos shot in the next coming months in this space. So it's super cool. Spent a couple days, made it look nice. Made it super functional and uh, should be ready to rip. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out brollmerch.com. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.